as we've been drinking MMA, and this is our best value bet of the night for Saturday, October 7th. This Saturday, guys, UFC Bobby, UFC Fight Night Bobby Green versus Grant Dawson is the main event. And this is backhand. My best value night or my best value bet of the night is Carolina Kowalkowitz. She's minus 150, $150 to make a hundred. And my best value of the card is going to be Philippe Lins by knockout. He's already an underdog, just as uh, just a pick 'em. Plus one twenty five. Plus one twenty five. The props are not out yet. We are doing this on Sunday, so we do not know what the props are, but it's probably gonna be around plus four or five hundred, if I'm assuming. Easily could be. Um, could be plus three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. Who knows? Because he is a uh, underdog, so it's probably gonna be on the upper end. Of that range. He's got a lot of decisions, so, so it probably is going to be the underdog bet plus 400, 300, something like that. The reason I'm thinking... Uh, Good value. I'm thinking he's going to get a knockout is because Ian Kudalaba... This might be inside distance as well, but like I think Philippe Lins is going to win this fight, and I think it's going to be inside distance. So yeah. Philippe Lins is not a submission artist. No. He knocks people out. That's right. So... A plus B equals C. So two power punchers that are slow. Yeah. That they can't. Well, one's a more in. of a looping striker, which yeah. is Kudalaba. It's kind of a messier type right. looping striker, and Philippe Lins is more of a straight down the pipe, technical type striker, and he's a he's a lighter. Yep. Uh, throws harder. Yep. Because he used to be heavyweight, he just throws with the same amount of power, and he's lighter, so mm-hmm. he's gonna throw more punches, and they're gonna be hard. So. He's had good by, success at light knockout. heavyweight. Yeah, he knocked out Ovin St. Pru. Yeah. He's looking good at, at 205. He's looking so lighter, faster. that's my best faster. value, sorry. Hell yeah, yeah. I love it. I'm going with uh, this is back end. My uh, best value better than I is Carolina Kowalkowicz. She's fight, fighting Diana Belbita. Carolina Kowalkowicz is only minus 155, and Carolina Kowalkowicz is on a three-fight winning streak. Belbita is only had, had has had five fights in the UFC, UFC and she's two and three. Um, and basically the thing of it is is that Carolina Kowalkowicz is a great value right here, in my opinion, um, because she's only lost to fighters who are former champions and ranked fighters. Um, and other than that, she's been winning, you know. So she fought for the belt uh, at, in the UFC versus Joanna J- Yun Jacek, and she went all five rounds. She didn't get finished. Um, so she's had experience in title fights or in that title fight. Um, a ton of experience. She's been in the UFC for like eight years. Belbita's been here for like maybe two years. And then the other thing is, is that Belbita, her two wins for uh, Diana Belbita, which is uh, Carolina Kowalkowicz's opponent, uh, Diana Belbita has two wins versus Oliv- uh, Mara Maria Oliveira, who's one in three in the UFC. She's about to get released, I'm sure. And then the other win is against Hannah Goldie, who's one in four in the UFC. Um, so really bad fighters is, is who she has wins against. And and the women who um, have beaten her, uh, you know, the one she has, she's got a loss to Leanna Jojuja, who's one and four in the UFC and got released. She's got a loss to Gloria DePaula, who went two and three, a losing record in the UFC and got released. And she also lost her last fight. So she's two and four in her last six. You know, so this is the reasons is that it's just levels to this. And, and Diana ben, ben Belvi, Belbita is 15 and 7, and so is uh, Carolina Kowalkowicz. She's 15 and 7, and that's why I think the odds are close. But in reality, the quality of fighters that Carolina Kowalkowicz has beaten is so much better. <laughs> it's unreal how much better the fighters she has beaten are than Belbita's opponents. And the fighters that Belbita has lost to are all horrible losing records. Uh, not horrible, but they are losing records, and there some of them are not in the UFC. So it's um yeah, it, it's not going to be a good night for Belbita in my opinion. And Car- Carolina Kowalkowicz at minus one fifty five in my opinion is a massive steal, and that's why she's my best value bet of the night. Carolina Kowalkowicz, easy money, guys. Appreciate the listening, and uh, please help us out for the YouTube algorithm to spread our videos out to the public. And please press that like button, maybe subscribe if you feel like it. Thank you.